Gliese 710 is an orange-coloured star and a mass roughly equivalent to 0.6 times that of our Sun. You might think this relatively obscure and unremarkable celestial object can't possibly be the subject of one of our videos. The thing is, Gliese 710 is in the preliminary stages of an upcoming cosmic dance with our Sun that may well change our solar system forever. Hi everyone, Vega here, and in today's video we take a closer look at Gliese 710, the approaching Death Star. So, let's get to it. In approximately 1.29 million years, 710 is projected to approach with an astonishingly close distance of just 0.17 light years, or 10,520 astronomical units. To put this in perspective, it's a mere 125th of the current distance to our neighbouring star, Proxima Centauri. This close proximity to our solar system will cause 710 to shine with a brilliance comparable to the brightest planets in our night sky boasting an apparent visual magnitude of approximately minus 2.7 at peak, or something similar to Jupiter at its almost brightest now. 710's movement across the sky, known as proper motion, will eventually become quite noticeable to our eyes, progressing at a rate of about one arc minute every year. Indeed, over the course of a human lifetime, observers will witness a significant shift in its position against the backdrop of stars. The timing of this cosmic encounter falls well within the range of astronomical models, based on data from the Gaia DR3 databank, which forecasts celestial events for the next 15 million years. Currently 710 is located at a distance of 62.3 light years, and it can be found in the Serpent's constellation. Its visual magnitude currently however registers at 9.69, is far too dim to be seen with the naked eye. Classified as a K7V K star, it falls within the category of small orange main sequence stars that primarily generate energy through the fusion of hydrogen at their cores. The smaller K in its classification indicates the presence of absorption lines caused by interstellar matter. Indeed, 710 contains about 57% of the Sun's mass and an estimated 58% of its radius. As most of the recent data available in 2020, no planets have been detected in orbit around 710. And it's important also to note that our system is going to close pass by theirs. Chances are if there is intelligent life in 710's system, then they are looking at us with equally, if not even more intrepidation than indeed ourselves. Regarding its trajectory through the cosmos, calculations by Bobby Lev and colleagues in 2010 did originally suggest that 710 carries roughly an 86% likelihood of traversing our solar system's Oort cloud. Not only that, there was thought to be an even 1 in 10,000 chance of 710 venturing as close as 1,000 astronomical units, a zone where its influence on objects in the Kuiper Belt would become significant. Updated calculations, however, have somewhat refined predictions, and a revised estimate places 710's closest approach to slightly closer 10,635 astronomical units to occur in approximately 1.29 plus or minus 0.04 million years. This updated forecast comes with considerably reduced uncertainty. Importantly, while the encounter will have negligible effects on the pluto charon system and the classical trans-Neptunian belt, 710 is projected to reverse the outer regions of the Oort cloud, which lies within 100,000 astronomical units, and indeed reach the outskirts of the inner Oort cloud, which is inside 20,000 astronomical units. Of course, the implications of 710's passage through the Oort cloud are pretty profound for our system. The star, while small compared to our Sun, is still a relatively large star, and certainly no red or brown dwarf. A K-class star that has potential to perturb this region in the outer solar system, exerting enough gravitational force to send showers upon showers of comets hurtling towards the inner solar system for millions of years. Some think this cosmic event could lead to a sighting of an incredible and approximately 10 naked eye comets annually, and possibly even impact events on Earth. According to experts Philip Bursky and Piotr Dibysinski, this encounter is slated to be the strongest disrupting encounter in the future and indeed history of our solar system. There is still some debate just how catastrophic it could prove for our system. Previous models suggested a relatively modest increase in cratering rates, but new calculations, which include a potential closer approach occurring in 1.29 million years, present a somewhat more alarming future. Again, the recent calculations indicate that Gliese 710 will approach within 10,635, plus or minus 500 astronomical units of the Sun. 
which marks a significant event to watch for the distant future. This of course is not even mentioning the potential changes in orbital dynamics. The gravitational influence of a star like 710 could seriously and dangerously alter the orbits of planets in our solar system, including the major ones like Jupiter and Saturn. Indeed, changes in orbital dynamics could be an even greater danger to our Earth, and indeed the very stability and integrity of our solar system altogether. That said, the chances of the star significantly rearranging our solar system remain low, given the relative distance to the star compared to our Sun. Pluto, for example, 40 astronomical units away from the Sun, would remain over 10,000 from 710, and although minor tweaks would occur, one assumes over millions of years they would once again iron themselves out. Although I say this as an optimist, I'm sure the glass half-empty folk amongst us might suggest otherwise. Of course, stellar encounters don't just affect us inwardly. Gravitational interactions between 710 and the Sun would also affect the paths of celestial bodies much closer to 710, such as asteroids or comets in our Oort cloud, which may result in changes to their orbits, potentially ejecting them from our solar system entirely due to the gravitational interaction with the passing star. These objects could become interstellar objects, leaving the solar system and, crucially, potentially carrying information about our solar system with them. Whether this would be good or bad for humanity, of course, remains to be seen. Hopefully, by the time 710 reaches us, we will actually have long since colonised it, and indeed our surrounding area, well aware and ahead of the game in terms of dangers. We've just over a million years, of course, to get it right. In today's graphic, we see a diagram of the nearest stars and their potential closest approach. First, Barnard's star, then Lalande 21185, followed by the Alpha Centauri system and the dog star of Sirius is also there for reference, although it will never be the closest system to us. Finally, Gliese 710, much later than the other stars, but much closer than the 65 million years our Earth has passed since the dinosaur's extinction event. Gliese 710 is a normal orange dwarf star that has scored a very, very big part in the future screenplay in our solar system. Predicted to come just shy of 10,000 astronomical units from our system, the effects on our Earth could be profound. From comets and asteroids raining down for millions of years, to even the giant planets themselves' orbits being perturbed and changed which could lead to devastating and even life extinction scale potential events. Currently located 62.3 light years away, if intelligent life does exist around this tiny orange Death Star, the chances are they are even more frightened of us than we are of them, in much of the way the tiny spider scares us humans, while we indeed scare it. The good news, however, is that we have a million years to get a plan together. Let's hope we use that time wisely. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you would like to support the channel further, you could consider buying me a coffee, and I'll link this in the description. Thanks to those of you who have already done so, and if you have any videos or subjects that you'd like to see brought to life, don't forget to let me know in the comments below, and perhaps next week your idea could show up. Take really good care of yourselves, look after your friends and family well, and I'll see you on the next one.